Hope you guys are ready to go down this crypto rabbit hole with me. Let's see, where where do I begin? Um, I prepared a couple of things to try to be as organized as possible. Um, and I also wanted to do this on that Telegram group um, since a lot of you uh, have been have been asking me about about crypto and I figured this might be the best approach so let's just give it a try I mean you guys know I'm just traveling having fun and crypto and blockchain and interests me and and it's been it's been a, a an interesting an interesting journey um, my my goals are very simple um, hopefully I'm gonna be able to make this into some sort of consistent revenue stream of some sort um, and I definitely feel that blockchain and crypto make this world a better place um, in the time being I'm just traveling hang gliding um, and reinventing myself in the sense that I don't ever want to go back to the corporate world. Um, it really, really makes me so sad and unhappy, um, makes me depressed. And I'm going to say no to that. And I hope, and I'm sure that blockchain and crypto will be, will be one part of, of not, of keeping me away from from going back to the lifestyle that I really don't want. Um, the ethos here, I was thinking, it's about really abundance, trust, openness, transparency, friendship. Um, as as you guys get, you know, if you guys are in, if this really interests you, you're gonna see that um, where that comes from. Um, so, what does success look like? Uh, I was really thinking about this and the reason why I'm here after a few years and I'm still having fun is that there is a genuine interest from me to get into this blockchain technology. Um, it, it, it makes me very excited. I'm always curious to learn more. Um, I've also been very willing to invest money um, even though I was going to lose it. Um, especially back then when um, things weren't so clear as, as they are now. Um, but just the belief in the decentralized future um, it, it makes me want to stay here. And, and the, the smart people that I have come across in the space, um, the blogs that I have read, the books, the YouTube videos, I mean, you name it. It's just amazing what's going on in this, in this new, new decentralized world of possibilities. Um, so I, I'll add to that. Um, it also is going to improve your understanding of money. Um, as you learn about Bitcoin and why it was created and how it was created and the economics of it, um, you really have to understand money and how the evolution of that to where we are now and why it has worked in the past and why it may not work so much in the future. Um, and then also, I mean, I definitely feel that success is understanding blockchain. I mean, this is a new layer of the internet um, that brings so much value. So if you just get that much, um, I consider that also success. Um, and as another point here is being able to design your own investment thesis um, you know, you're going to put a lot of time and, and, and money into this um, if you decide. So 
I think by coming out with your own understanding of this, why it's important and the value that it brings, um, you're going to be able to create your, your thesis on, on an investment for, for the money you'll put into the space. Um, and that for me looks, looks like success. Um, this is definitely not something that you're going to get rich off of. Um, I mean, that, that could be a possibility. Um, I hope one day <laughs> for myself. Um, but yeah, definitely, this is not uh, uh, something that you're, you're going to just quickly get rich. Um, and then in terms of um, gambling, that's also one thing that I don't want this to be. This is not just getting random coins or not doing our due diligence and investing into things that make no sense um, for a quick fast buck which really don't exist so um, this is definitely not for that that's not why I'm doing this um, there are new dangers that you have to start to consider um, and I'll just be very very brief but um, the way that you probably used to operate uh, you're going to have to make changes, and especially as you increased your investment. So if this is just something that you're going to play around with and not take serious and never put any significant money into this, then you probably have nothing to worry about because whatever you can lose, it's, it's not important, right? Um, but at some point, if you do get excited and if this comes from a genuine interest and you are going to start learning more, uh, most likely what will happen is that you'll be able to accumulate or increase your initial investment. How much? I don't know. But at some point, you're going to have to make that decision to increase your levels of security. So I would just start now and some very basic things. Um, for example, um, are two-factor authentication. So if you look up Google two-factor yeah, two verification, um, this is something that works on your cell phone. Um, and um, let's see, there's a screenshot. Yeah, so anyhow, as you as you log into log into um, um, a lot of these crypto applications they're gonna ask you if you want to set up two-factor authentication and you want to say yes uh, and you want to download that Google app uh, and make sure that you do start doing all your crypto stuff with with um, with this level with this additional layer of security um, another thing is you don't ever want to write down your passwords. You don't, you know, you 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 want to keep those things hidden. Um, you don't share your 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 private keys with anybody, and you'll start learning about this as you go. But you just want to be very very um, take that much more serious than you than you do today. Um, another thing is with the computer, you probably want to just pick one computer um, where you're going to be doing these things. And hopefully that computer will be one that you will, number one, keep all your security stuff up to date. So if it's Apple, if it's Android, if it's Windows, whatever it is, just make sure you're always doing the updates because most of those updates are all about security. So you want to keep the most up to date on that. You also don't want to use your computer for... Um, downloading random things, visiting sketchy websites. I, again, if you have an additional computer, I would um, I would put it aside to, to keep it as safe as possible. <clears throat> and then that should protect you against most hacks and things like that. And then in terms of scams, yeah, I mean, this is just like like every industry where there's money, every finance thing. I mean, everybody's trying to take your money. So just... You know, you guys are smart people, so I don't think I have to say anything about scams. You guys are, are smart enough to figure that out. Um, in terms of process, um, it just the way I I see it, it's it. Let's not overthink this. Um, 
you know, I think uh, you're in this group because you have some genuine interest. So my approach is let's just learn by doing. It's important that we get started. Um, we are in a crypto bull market. Um, so this is actually a, a good time to get in in the sense that um, you will most likely increase your, your investment. Um, you'll probably win more than you'll lose. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we just want to get started and then obviously, um, you know, I'll get into in a second into exchanges, wallets, and then all these other, um, applications that are almost a necessity to, to take part in this, in this space. And you're going to learn why as, as we go, um, and it's also important that you set some time aside to do your homework. This is all about self-education, learning from mistakes, hopefully mistakes that others make and not your own, but I, I, I guess both of them are included here. And then um, I also want you in the very near, near future to start really thinking about short and long-term goals um, if, this, if, this, if you feel that this might might really interest you and you're going to spend significant time learning and, and, you know, investing both your time and money into this. Um, I kind of lay mine out like very short term. I want to make blockchain 27% of my, of my income through, through trading and investing. Um, and then in terms of long term, I definitely want to live, be able to live off this hopefully. Um, so definitely an increase in percentage there. Um, and then I would also want to start participating in, in projects. Um, you know, don't know exactly what, what exactly what that looks like, but I've just seen so many different projects in areas where I do have some expertise. I'll use supply chain as one, and I could probably add a lot of value. So maybe one day uh, participating in a new supply chain project of some sort or some blockchain technology that's going to, do something that interests me, and um, so that's probably also in the area of my of my interests in, in terms of goals for myself in this space. Um, also, I think for this process to be successful, um, you have to learn to take more responsibility in this decentralized world um, that you're going to start learning about. Things work very very different, um, and let's just stick to the password or yeah to the password example. Um, as you go into these decentralized applications and set things up, um, if you ever forget a password or an address, um, which are crucial and so important, you don't want to be losing or forgetting those things. Um, there's really nobody to call that can help you. Um, I know that in the future, they're working on solutions for this, um, but as of today, for the most part, if you forget your, your address, if you forget your keys, if you forget your wallet, if you forget a password, or um, if you send funds, and I'll just give you a, a simple example. So let's say you're trying to send Bitcoin from one exchange to a wallet or to some other device or to another person as a payment or whatever, and you accidentally send it to a different network so let's say you want to send bitcoin um, to somebody's address and they happen to send you an ethereum address or an ethereum wallet um, then most likely they are not going to get those funds and most likely that transaction is going to get lost in a black hole so that those funds will not get sent back to you it's not like it may not time out and say, okay, um, and then all of, all, of, all of a sudden magically appear back on your wallet. Um, for the most part, they're lost in a black hole and nobody can help you. So you're going to have to consider that this world comes with a lot of new responsibilities. Um, I'd also add that the advantages right now, um, there's lots of opportunities in the space. Um, 
everything is still like pretty new novice getting tested done i mean proven um so there's just opportunities everywhere um we're also in a special bull market because of covid because of all the money printing because of of all the time that everybody has they're not commuting they're not going anywhere so a lot of people that are in the space are are working 24 7 developers are moving into the space you know all the time and there's just more and more projects more and more things happen more and more integration um so there's an abundance of opportunities here and this is the time to be in the in the in this space um the other advantage is, is that not too many people, I mean, this isn't, I mean, as much as you hear the news and it's starting to move towards mainstream, we're still far from mainstream. Um, so you're already a step ahead. Um, so yeah, all that, all that said, um, my journey down this road started um, towards the end of 2017. Um, right now I'm in a good place <laughs> in terms of my investments, but at the beginning that wasn't that wasn't the case and what really um allowed me to i guess be where i am today i I'm, i would say is the fact that i really never never did did sell um and instead i just continued educating myself more and more and that's what never allowed me to to sell any any of my um, investments. Um, I true wholeheartedly believed that that was the future and that sooner or later things would catch up to to um, the, the development potentials that people were investing in in 2017 that were all probably all speculative. Um, I always knew that people would digest it, understand it, and they would see the future. Kind of like the internet. I remember when I would tell my friends that they needed to buy a computer and get on the internet. Um, they really, you know, didn't see a need until one day they really understood it. And now look at the world, right? Um, let me see what else. Um, yeah, I mean, just know that um, this is a very volatile market. I mean, today... I look at my portfolio and sometimes I'm up four or five percent, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. Um, but I also am fully aware that that could be wiped out in a, in a heartbeat. Um, it's so volatile. I mean, a piece of news or things could happen, a hack, um, regulations. I mean, there's still a lot, a lot of risk. And so the volatility, I don't see that going away. Um, again, that, I mean, being through so many ups and downs and just seeing my account and my portfolio go in so many directions, I guess has helped me stomach all those moves. And I really feel like I have nothing to worry about. This is the future and I'm invested in the future and the future is, is arriving as we speak. Um, if I were to have a, a secret agenda, <laughs> Um, I would be, I just want to take more of my friends and family with me. Um, it's not fun doing this alone. Um, I rather have conversations with friends and people and family and people that interest me and that I want to be around, around, around this than to, um, than to have, um, than to talk to strangers on, on the internet about, about crypto and these investments, etc. Um, it would also be, be amazing if if any of you get interested in um, technical analysis or or any other value value added um, contributions there's going to be so much i mean maybe somebody's interested in programming or other things that could bring tons of value or just finding new and interesting projects that have solid fundamentals again i'm just one person I can only do so much analysis on some projects and there's definitely so many more interesting things out there that I'm not seeing. So it's nice to just have a community of friends to have, have uh, blockchain crypto conversations. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully new business ideas or investments will come from all this. But anyhow, regardless, I'm just having fun and I hope that what I prepare is going to help you. 
a good place to start is reading the Bitcoin, the famous Bitcoin white paper. It's not that difficult to learn, and you'll probably understand at least half of it. Um, there are some things that even today I still don't understand, um, but that's really not not important um, for me at least. I don't I don't hashtags and and um, I mean all these new terms that were for me I mean that still don't make a whole lot of sense um, I don't I I haven't really felt the need that I need need to fully understand that um, another another place um, that I would start with um, so Andrea Antonopoulos he has a great YouTube channel now um, um, if you start with that, with that plate, with and that his playlist. his newest book is, just came out eight days ago called The Internet of Money, which is a masterpiece to read. Please help me welcome Andreas Antonopoulos. So I started reading his book, The Internet of Money, and it was, wow, I mean, jaw-dropping. I, I, I finished it, one, one of the quickest books I've ever, I've ever read, um, and I just continued down down that um, down that rabbit hole um, so yeah this is this is a good a good place to start and I mean this this introduction I mean this playlist it kind of goes through a lot of the initial things that you're gonna need um, uh, let me see what what other what other things um, I mean I guess in terms of security I would just take that really really serious and make make those changes um, and well, right here was the two-factor authentication. Um, Google has a pretty a pretty good app for that, um, or use other 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 products. Um, also, learn you know at some point, maybe not right now, but at some point, learning about cold storage wallets um, so that they're hack proof i mean everything proof i mean the only way you can lose it is if you physically lose it or you lose your 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 secret phrases and and, and passwords to get in but yeah security is probably one of the most important things that you want to start taking more serious <clears throat> and then you also want to get very familiar with um centralized versus decentralized so that that conversation um, and I really like um, this I really like this site um, it just I guess we think the same way but um, yeah I'm, I'm I'm very against um, living in this centralized world where companies like Facebook and Google and, and all this they capture all our data and they do so much with it. Um, and at any given point, they can pull the plug on all these things that tools that we use and there would be almost like no, no questions asked, right? Um, instead, I really love the idea of, of a decentralized system. Um, again, and this is what blockchain offers, right? Um, it's really not backed by by any by anybody or any government or any nation, um, and instead it's just it's a fairer, safer, a more more powerful e economy and world. But anyhow, that's these are just some some interesting sites that I would I would visit and and learn a little bit more more about it and then the advantages um, and disadvantages are very are very clear right um, so I won't I mean you guys can read this on your own but I think th this is very important to really start by understanding centralized versus decentralized the advantages and disadvantages of both um, Okay, and then I'll get into the tools. So the tools that you're gonna need, I think definitely start with CoinGecko. CoinGecko is one of the sites that usually lists coins projects first. Um, 
it, um, it just gives you a lot, a lot of useful, useful information. Um, it tells you where, where you can buy the coins, so um, which is very important, like what exchanges you can go to. Um, it, um, as, as you're learning to do your due diligence, you realize how important social media is. Um, and so checking out every project's socials are, are very important. Um, so, yeah, so CoinGecko, and you can also create um, profiles. So, which I highly encourage you to create different different profiles. Um, maybe maybe you want to create a profile for future investments. Maybe you found five or six projects or whatever amount of projects that you like. Um, well, you can come in here and create a profile as if you had invested in this, and maybe follow it for a couple of weeks or a month. You enter you know, whatever, whatever, um, whatever amount of coins you're planning on, on buying or, and at what price, and then you can track it and see how well, how well you did. Um, so I have, you know, some of my list, like, should I, should I invest in these coins? So these are DeFi projects. These are NTF projects. This is my personal portfolio. These are the launch pads. So I have different portfolios, um, that I, that I follow. Um, another important tool in sight, I, I really like um, DEX tools um, for two important reasons. I can really follow the price action, you know, to the second. <laughs> and, um, and then the other thing, again, since, since blockchains for the most part are all public, um, you can see how the trade are going. So if I, I'm, I mean, this is a project that I recently invested in. So before I did that, I just followed all the price action and I was watching the buying and the selling and I was just waiting for it to meet my targets. And so I had to be on top of this. And so this site is very user friendly in that, in that sense. It has a lot more functionality, but anyhow, I use that for, for these two things. Um, and 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 we'll get into um, other other things later on. Um, you are going to need to get into an exchange. So um, there's many exchanges. Um, I would recommend one that's trusted and secured. Um, um, I, I use Coinbase. So Coinbase has two products. They have regular Coinbase and they have Coinbase Pro. If I'm not mistaken, for you to set up Coinbase, you still have to set up the, the normal or the regular Coinbase before you can get on Coinbase Pro. So all you have to do is set up your Coinbase account and then you have to... Um, activate your Coinbase Pro. Now, why why do I recommend Coinbase Pro? Um, the reason is is because this is how I ended up buying most of my most of my crypto. Um, and how did I do it? I did it through limit limit orders. And so not only do I get a better price, I mean, well back in the days when I was doing it, if you did limit orders, it used to be for free. Now it's no longer free, but it's um, it's a small fee, not so, and it's uh, yeah it's a small fee. So I would set up limit orders, and then once the tar you know once my limit was met, then I would get you know I would buy the crypto. So that's one of the many reasons why I I recommend um, you know using an exchange like this Coinbase Pro. Um, another another reason. Is that um, some of these bigger exchanges now they're adding a lot of coins like in just this last year they added like 50 or 60 percent of these coins and some of them some of these projects like Uniswap let me see so there's Uniswap that's Agave that's another really good one um, Synthetics 
they just added sushi um, polygon and scale these are also really big in the in the industry so the fact that you can buy them with fiat with cash or fiat currencies it's 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 amazing right now because of the issues that are going on with ethereum right um, the gas prices are just so expensive so if i needed to buy uniswap um, tokens i would come to a centralized exchange like coinbase to buy it because i'll save on the on the gas fees um, for for ethereum so okay so the first yeah so that's what you want to do you want to set this up uh, and you're gonna deposit your funds here um, I mean it's it's self self-explanatory uh, deposit you link it you're gonna link it you're gonna link it to your to your bank account um, you're gonna definitely want to do um, transfers via ACH they're free and I would um, I would set up as many accounts as possible <laughs> Um, just because you might have issues with one or another if you have two different banks um, anyhow I've had problems I've needed to buy coins and I've had problems with the bank and so by having my savings and my checking that's been very helpful or even having a separate bank account is also helpful and also having multiple exchanges is also helpful but the first step is to get set up so I'll just use coinbase but you you can do your research and find another another safe safe exchange uh, if you're not living in the US Binance if if you're not a Mary if you're not a US citizen Binance is probably the better option it's cheaper it's bigger has more coins um, and many many other benefits but okay so here you're gonna set this up um, and you're gonna you're gonna um, you know deposit your funds and then once you're once you deposit your funds you should be able to immediately buy crypto and you're gonna need to come over here and for the most part uh, let's just start off with um, Bitcoin and Ethereum so at some point um, when you're working on your portfolio you're gonna have to decide how much of your portfolio you want in Bitcoin um, how much of your portfolio you're gonna want in ETH and then how much of your portfolio you're gonna want in in altcoins and in terms of risk Bitcoin is probably the, the one with the least amount of risk uh, followed by Ethereum and then obviously the one with the most risk are gonna be all your altcoins like like these here right like um, sushi, synthetics, um, uni, anyhow, all these other ones are all the altcoins. Okay, so as you're getting in, setting up your portfolio, how much you want to invest, um, then you're gonna buy that much Bitcoin and that much Ethereum. Now, for your altcoins, usually, for the most part, you're going to have to first enter the altcoin world with ethereum so it's either bitcoin or ethereum for the most part and 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 here i'll 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 show you how that how that works so for example let's just pick this coin let's say you wanted to buy this uniswap coin right so you go to the markets and then here you can see where they're selling them and how you can purchase them so this is a good example of a coin that you can purchase with cash which is usd or um, with a stable coin called usdt this is tether this is a stable coin it's pegged to the dollar and they're one one for one but this is a digital currency this is fiat currency this is cash dollar bills right so they're very different um, another thing you can i mean you can also buy it with Bitcoin so on, on Coinbase Pro you can get uni with Bitcoin so you trade it for Bitcoin on Binance with Bitcoin and so depending on the coin you're gonna realize with what currency or, or you you can buy it and this is another use for um, 
CoinGecko. It it tells you. Now, back when I started, for the most part, like 99% of the coins, you could only buy them with, with Bitcoin or Ethereum. That's it. You, you, the only one you could buy with cash was Bitcoin and sometimes Ethereum. Anyhow, the world changed. So, um, yeah, once you've once you've um, once you bought your Bitcoin, once you bought your Ethereum, great. Um, in another video, I'll show uh, we'll discuss. Um, a better place of storing your Bitcoin and Ethereum and it's not inside a wallet it's more like taking it into the DeFi um, into the the DeFi space decentralized finance where you can gain gain um, high interest and when I say high interest rates I'm talking about you know three four five six ten twenty percent and depending that all depends on the coin right or the or the cryptocurrency right every cryptocurrency will have um, a different APY uh, annual annual um, percentage yield um, on your for for that coin okay now at some point once you once you've you know once you have your funds transferred over to the exchange and once you purchased your bitcoin and your ethereum so there's going to be a percentage of your ethereum that you're going to want to convert or you should be interested in in investing in some altcoins if that's something that you want to do i highly encourage it I'll tell you that um, there are times when my prof more of my profits come from Bitcoin, um, but right now in these times, I would say more of my profits are coming from the altcoins. So altcoins tend to be more profitable. Um, Bitcoin is less risky. So altcoins are higher risk, more return. Bitcoin is lower risk, lower returns. So if you decide to get into altcoins, then I'm going to show you an important tool that I highly, I highly encourage you to use, whether you're going to be investing a large amount into altcoins or not. Um, I think it's very important for you to understand the tools um, that exist in the space, the new protocols that are coming, and the, so that you understand what is decentralization and why it's so powerful. And until you you use it, <laughs> you really won't get it. So it's important that you use it. One of the most important um, decentralized protocols that exists right now is in the DeFi space, the decentralized finance space. Um, and this is called Uniswap, okay? So if you come here to this site, Uniswap, um, and you click on the app, okay? So this is a decentralized exchange, and this will allow you to convert your Ethereum to any ERC20 or Ethereum based tokens, so tokens that were built on the Ethereum network, on the Ethereum blockchain. Okay, for the most part, the, the major today the majority of projects of companies are all built on the Ethereum network. So Ethereum, so Bitcoin is the internet of money, Ethereum is the internet of value. And that's why so many applications are built on Ethereum. And they're referred to as dApps in the space, right? So all these dApps are built on Ethereum, and here you can here is where you can exchange them. And uh, I'm gonna give you one one example. So for example, you come over here and somebody tells you about a new coin and you can't find it. So you come over here and you and you try to find it. Okay, 
So uh, there's a new project. It's called Tango. I can't find it, right? It's not here. So the safest, one of the safest ways for you to do this is to either go to um, Etherscale. Okay, so this is the Ethereum blockchain world, let's just say, right? Um, and so we come over here and we look for that token. Okay, so then you look for that token, Tango Finance, and then here, here, is, here is the contract, right? Okay, so you, you, copy, you copy that contract and you paste it here in the, in the app. And then you bring it, you, you import it here. The other thing you can do is you can come over here to CoinGecko and do the same thing. And this is why this site is amazing. So Tango, you come over here and well for the well um this coin is really new so but for the most part you should be able to to get to get on the ether scan and then um copy the contract now the project is called key tango key tango token tango okay now look at the address right over here right it starts with 0x1882f blah 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 blah. okay so now let's go to eth ether scan and it's it's not it's not the same address right so this this isn't the right contract and so it's a good thing that you that you double that you double and you triple check because look look at the contract it's it, it ends with capital B E F and this one was a completely different project and I was about to come over here and add the wrong address and purchase the wrong token okay and so that's what I was talking about with the responsibility that comes with this, there's nobody to blame but yourself here. If, if I were to buy the wrong token, this is all decentralized. There's nobody to call. There's nobody to say, well, I put in Tango, I put in the ticker and blah, blah, blah. There's nobody to complain about, right? So you got to do your due diligence and make sure that you're buying the right things. And these are the tools to do it. And that's why I always double and triple check. I make sure that I, and, 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 and I have additional ways of even triple, quadruple checking. So then my mistake was that I should have put Key Tango, because that's the name of the project, Key Tango. It still doesn't come up, so Key Tango, one word, doesn't come up. Tango. So, okay, anyhow, this, this, I mean, I know for sure this is, this is the project. I mean, I'll click on the website and I'll, I'll verify, I'll, I'll, I'll come over here and let me, let me continue looking. So, Tango. Okay, right here it is. So you see, all I had to do was scroll down and then the name of the project is Key Tango. And this is the contract address. You see, BEF.
1x, 1a2. One x one a two. Um, also, you'll see a social profile. So maybe this this was a bad example. Um, I'm I'm glad we did it so that you can kind of see what you have to be worried about and why you have to triple check things in this in this space. But let's just go with Uniswap. Uniswap. Okay, this is probably a better example. So here it's crystal clear. You see the logo, you see the name, you see the indicator, you see the price. So I know that the price is around 30 bucks. I know that it's a pink unicorn. I know that their ticker is U N I. So I click it, right? And then I have the website. So I go and I click on the website and I want to be trip. And then I know. So now I'm confirming that that is the right project right and if I go to Uniswap right here I can see the contract address and there for for you know to add to my MetaMask wallet and I know that it's OX1 OX1 F98 and then I come over here where is it yeah OX1 F98 so yeah perfect so going back to the key key tango example, um, I I copy that address. I come over here, and that was the wrong project. So glad I triple checked. I come over here and I paste it, and there tango and the project is key tango. I go to the website. It's key tango. Um, ticker. T A N G O. So I come back here and now I add it. So I import it and then it tells me. And this is again going back to the responsibility, right? Anyone can create a token, including creating fake versions of existing tokens that claim to represent projects. If you purchase this token, you may not be able to sell it back. <laughs> So that's it. I mean, this is just a disclaimer, and you'll learn more and more how this world works, and it's all your responsibility. So there, that's it. And then I put, then for me to be able to purchase this, I got to go and I got to set up a MetaMask wallet, okay? <laughs> so that is the third, fourth, I don't know what tool we are in, but that's an additional tool that you're going to have to set up. So what is MetaMask? MetaMask is a wallet that is built into your browser, okay? So this is my MetaMask wallet, and here I have all my, my, a part of my cryptocurrencies, as much as I'm willing to lose, right? Um, I have them, I have them here, um, or if I'm doing certain things with them and I need to exchange them or move them from one place to another, I have that here, um, this allows me to send and receive, um, okay? And all my coins live on the blockchain and I have access to them through my MetaMask wallet. And so any application that wants to have access to my cryptocurrencies, whether I'm buying, selling, or I'm staking, or I'm doing something on the Ethereum network, then they need access to those tokens, and I can grant them access through my MetaMask wallet. Okay, um, MetaMask also has a app for your phone, so this is gonna this for right now. Let's just say this is the one to use. I mean, in the future, we'll discuss better things and all that, but this is just the easiest one to get started and um, you can easily click this is my address and they make it so easy you click on it and and, and you paste it so um, for me to be able to buy those tokens on this decentralized exchange so on the Uniswap decentralized exchange if I want to be able to buy and interact with this I gotta link my wallet in this case, it's MetaMask wallet, like, but 
it's really any hardware wallet. I mean, I'm sorry, any of these of these wallet. It could be your hardware wallet. It could be uh, Trezor. It could be uh, um, a Ledger wallet. I mean, there's just so many wallets now. Um, but in my case, it's going to be MetaMask wallet. Okay. For all this to work, the first step going back to the exchange is that you have to come over here you have to buy ethereum so you transferred your bank you want you transferred your money from your bank to the exchange you purchased so i purchased ethereum so i have my ethereum here purchased and now i need to send the ethereum to my metamask wallet i need to make sure that there's ethereum in this wallet because i'm going to link my wallet to this exchange so that i can make the purchase so i'm going to send you guys a video to set up your metamask wallet but essentially what i need to do is i need to copy my address and remember this is an ethereum based address so i can only send um for this exercise ethereum right so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to copy my Ethereum address. I'm going to go to the exchange and I'm going to do a withdraw. So you sent money from your bank. You waited the five or six days for the, for the transaction to clear. Now you have funds. You bought your Ethereum here. You came over here. You bought your Ethereum. You can either do a market order, which is the quickest um, in the future. I, if you don't know about limit orders, I can later on I can show you how to do limit orders. Um, but for this exercise, let's just do this quick. We'll pay market price. So you come over here and you put the dollar amount that you want to buy. So let's say I want to buy a thousand dollars worth of Ethereum. I'm gonna get charged five bucks for that transaction. And I just click and I place the order and I get it immediately. However, for me to be able to withdraw that Ethereum, I need to wait for that transaction to clear. It takes about five to six days. That's why bank sucks. That's why we're moving away from that centralized banking system and into the new world of blockchain and decentralization so that everything happens instantaneously almost. But let's just pretend five days passed and now we have, okay, great, we have um, our two Ethereum. So then you do a withdraw. So you pick the currency that you want to withdraw. And I'm going to type in the crypto address for this withdraw. So I come over here to my MetaMask wallet. I copy my MetaMask Ethereum address. I copy that. I come over here and I paste it and I want to use this address and then in some systems now they're validating that it is an ETH address however this is not guaranteed again it's your responsibility to make sure when you're moving ETH it's got to be an Ethereum based product or a protocol that works with Ethereum you cannot for example I cannot send Bitcoin to an Ethereum address or Polkadot or Cardano to an Ethereum address or Polkadot to Cardano address. They're just not compatible. They're totally different networks. Don't want to confuse you, so let's just stick to this Ethereum example for now. But yeah, so this is an ETH withdraw, Ethereum withdraw, and it's going to my ETH MetaMask wallet. I put it here, I validated it, and then I put the amount of Ethereum that I want to send and you do have to pay fees on Coinbase. The Ethereum fees are way, way lower um, because it's all centralized. Remember, this is the centralized world. Everything takes longer. Everything is more expensive. Um, but in this case, because the Ethereum blockchain is broken right now and it's so expensive because of the high traffics, um, in this case, we do benefit from this being centralized. So sometimes centralization has benefit. So whatever, let's just put the amount of ETH. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one ETH, and once everything is ready, then I press I I press withdraw. 
Um, it's going to ask me to put in my 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 password, my two-factor authentication. I'm not going to do this because um, I already have ETH in this wallet. And then you're going to wait for a couple of minutes. Sometimes it's one, two, three minutes. Sometimes it could be five minutes at some point, depending on how congested the network is. Then you're going to get a notification that that you received your Ethereum. Okay. Um, there are other ways of, of of checking on the Ethereum blockchain. Remember, everything is is public, <laughs> um, so you could literally come to the Ethereum blockchain, put your put your address here. So I put my Ethereum address here, and then it tells uh, this th this is my history. This is all my history. So I interacted with this 20, 20 somewhat hours ago. Um, and I could follow, I, I, I can follow and make sure what's going on with, with that transaction. Um, so I click here and this was when I bought the, the, the when I was staking some, some key tango. Um, so you could follow your transaction and make sure it was successful or not. But again, I guess I'm confusing you now. So let's just stick to the simple example. So you moved over your funds to your MetaMask wallet now they're in your metamask wallet okay so now you can go ahead in here and connect your wallet because you have funds so i connect my metamask wallet i'm going to put my password so there it's connected right so my metamask wallet which lives on on the browser um, or you can have an app um, there I connected it so now I just put the amount of tokens I want to buy um, a thousand tokens or I can put the amount of ETH I have or whatever amount of ETH I want um, and then um, once you, you know how much you want to purchase etc and you have enough ETH to purchase that not only for the amount of tokens that you're buying but also to cover the transaction costs on the e on the ethereum blockchain remember this is decentralized and so miners are going to approve this and for them to approve this they have to um, run their machines with code and all that and that all costs money so they get paid in ethereum and that's where that transaction fee ends up going so i'm going to do a swap right and i'm not going to complete the transaction um, but just to give you an example right so now that i'm ready to buy this money tang you know tango coins key tango coins and all that it's telling me that the fee is 63 dollars um, and let me tell you that right now that's kind of cheap. I've been paying almost $100 for these transactions. Um, and those are issues with the Ethereum blockchain that we can discuss at another time. Um, it's just so congested. And the way that things work is that miners um, work on the higher fees. So if you want your transaction to go through and you don't want it to get stuck or to be here for 30 minutes and for the thing to time out not only will it time out but you will also get charged <laughs> so it's not like it times out and oh it's for free all the work that we did it's like no it timed out and for whatever we did you're gonna get charged this amount so that's why um, you wanna you wanna be sure to um, play around with with these things um, so for right now, you know, I would say, um, you know, this is an important transaction for me. It's 63 bucks. Um, um, another thing that I do right here is that um, another tool, another tool that, that, that you're going to learn how to use, well, you already know how to use it, is on Etherscan, it's telling you more or less how much uh, are the transactions and 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 they're measured in GUI. The, the the gas is in GUI, so you know for a low transaction, a high transaction, and all that. And so to to do a swap, to do a swap right now, it's 
80, 80, yeah, 89. Yeah, the, this, these were the prices I, I was expecting. So it's actually lower. Let me, let me refresh. Okay, yeah. So it's, it's lower, right? I, I, had, I had pulled this up earlier today. So it's much lower. So right now is probably a good time to go and do that transaction. Um, and then I would just click confirm. And then the transaction will go through. Okay. Um, yeah. And then and then the transaction at some point the the MetaMask wallet and you'll get you'll get a a receipt. So these were these were some purchases that I did yesterday. So let's just pretend that this hap this is happening right now. So if you click here, it'll it'll tell you it'll tell you um, if it was successful or not. And it'll tell you how much you got charged and how much coins you got because since these are markets and they're volatile, so they're changing. So if there's any slippage, uh, usually in these coins there's very little slippage, but there will be slippage, then it'll get corrected here. Like you thought you bought 300 coins, but it only gave you 299.39 coins because of the small slippage that was involved. Um, if the slippage is very big, it's going to let you know. It's going to ask for your approval or not. Um, okay, but then that's that's how you can follow the and make sure you can verify that your transaction went through and that everything is fine by following what's going on on, on, on Etherscan. Okay, so going going back to this, yeah, so going back to this exercise, so then you bought the token, right? So now you want to add it to your to your MetaMask wallet, okay? And the way that you do that, if you don't have it added, so yesterday I added this, but let's just go through the example again. Let's pretend you don't have it here. So even though you did the transaction and it completed, you went to Etherscan with this address and you found that your transaction was in fact successful and they charge you your fees and everything, but for whatever reason, you don't see it on your MetaMask wallet, which, which happens when it's, a, when it's a new coin that you've never interacted with before. It means that you have to come over here and add it. So how will you add it? You click here on add token and you do custom, okay? And then you either go to the to the to this ETH contract or you go to CoinGecko. Oh, that's right. This is a new coin, so it's it's normally here. But okay, anyhow, we know we know that it's that this is the contract. Um, and then you go to your MetaMask wallet, and you're gonna add it. Okay, so you go add token, custom token, and you're gonna paste the contract address here. Yeah, it already exists. Okay, so in this case, but then it's gonna it's gonna tell you the the token symbol. So you're gonna see Tango, and you're gonna see that it should be 18 because most of the Ethereum based um, currencies are have all 18 digits. And then you'll click next, and then at that point, you will you will see your your tokens will magically appear. But had I not done that. Don't worry, just because you don't see your coins here doesn't mean that you lost them or they got lost in outer space or that you did anything wrong. They're going to be, because everything lives on the public, on the Ethereum public blockchain. So you just, you just, you just follow that transaction. So you would come over here and you'll, you know, you'll follow that transaction view on Etherscan and voila, it's there. Um, so again, just a reminder that if the things don't show up, you might have to go and look for the contract address and add it manually. Okay, custom tokens and, and, and add it 
add add it manually here I'll show you an example of a token that I don't have so let's come over here and let's just look for a random token so chills whatever this is okay so let's pretend it was this one right so I copied contract address so I copy the contract address um, I go to my MetaMask wallet I add token add custom and then I copy the address so you see right here's the ticker right here is the eight and then you just click next and then and voila it's there it's added so now I'll come over here and now the next time I buy this token if I wanted it now it's gonna show up here because I already added it so again never anything to worry about everything lives on the ethereum blockchain it's a public blockchain it's all there nothing for you to worry about okay um, your metamask wallet it's just the user-friendly interface so this is just a very simple user-friendly interface that allows you to see your coins and your assets and all that that's all it does it doesn't physically store anything because again this is all a decentralized world remember so nobody the only place that it's on it's on a public blockchain that's on multiple computers and the way that you can you can follow it is on the ethereum blockchain on the public ethereum blockchain okay so going back to where we were um that is the power of decentralization so this uniswap and if you look at this token uni this is why this token at some point it's probably going to be worth a hundred and thirty dollars um yeah look it's it's market cap is already 15 billion dollars and this project was worth nothing about say i mean this project has only been in existence for like nine months since since september since around september this protocol but because so many transactions happen on this um and 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 look it used to cost two dollars where i saw like two two dollars and eighty two dollars and eighty cents and now it's at 30 bucks and it's still this is still according to the experts this is still super cheap this protocol is going to be worth a hundred and something once if once the problems the 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 traffic on the ethereum blockchain get sorted out and the fees are no longer that high then this project is going to shine okay um so yes it is it seems daunting and complicated but it once you do one transaction you're going to realize how easy it is to move your money into a centralized exchange buy the ethereum or whatever coin um, move it over or give it access to your metamask wallet because most applications transact with metamask it's user friendly um, and then at that point you can enter the decentralized world um, this is just one aspect of it and I don't want to overwhelm you so for today that was it we set up coinbase we move money into it we purchase our ethereum or our bitcoins or whatever um, but definitely for it to participate in the decentralized world you're gonna need to buy ethereum you send it to your metamask wallet and from there then you connect it and then at that point you can you can start to transact um, now i would i would also um i'm also going to include um, some important readings um, I think this is this is very important, and this name is is uh, Anthony Papliano. He's 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 very well respected in the space. Um, I'm also going to share um, this as well. I think it's also very very important that 
that you start understanding digital securities um, and why like why they're so valuable like there's a reason this isn't these aren't scams this is these these aren't pumps and dumps anymore um, we're really um, getting legitimized in the space and the people are really starting to listen and institutions are starting to get involved everybody's starting to jump in um, and I think the, the, these articles really really help um, I'm also going to share this with you um, the these are the most some of the most important people in the space um, and just so that you can start getting an idea of who they are so as you as you read and and educate yourself and you see these names um, you start knowing who you can you know take their word for who you can trust and and maybe who you need to um, not take so serious um, another good website is is coindesk uh, oh wow look at this article watch out for these risks before investing in bitcoin or ETH. <laughs> hey well maybe this is a good time um, to start reading about more, more risks um, and then etherscan you guys know now a little bit what it does um, and why it's important this is gives you all the access to what's going on on the ethereum blockchain again it's public all the information all the transactions everything you do can be seen once it's linked to your wallet um, and I'll give you a clear example so for example um, for you to open and set up a coinbase account you're gonna have to go through the KYC process so they're gonna know who you are because you're gonna take a picture of your driver's license and I, maybe they might even ask for your social security number it's been so long I don't I don't re remember but at that point they know who you are so they know that I'm Nathan Contreras right so all the transactions that I do and da 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 da, da they know um, you know uh, Coinbase sends all my tax tax information at the end of the year to the IRS so the IRS knows that I bought Ethereum at what prices and I sent it out of the exchange at whatever price so once this leaves the exchange at that point it becomes a taxable event and I'm responsible for paying the taxes on that. So even though MetaMask is uh, is a decentral is a decentralized wallet or all that, once I send anything to that wallet, they can track it. So they know that may most likely Nathan is linked is linked to that MetaMask address. Um, so yeah, it kind of, yeah, I mean, for tax purposes, it kind of sucks because everybody knows what you're doing. Um, but that's the, that's the world that we live in. Um, let me close that. Okay. Um, another thing that I thought was very useful, I don't know how serious you're going to get into this. Um, but I thought. I I did this this I I did the the video lectures on from from MIT so this is this is this was one of the first um, blockchain programs available um, and MIT ha, has many of their courses online for free you can do the entire course and um, you can even take the 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 tests and everything I mean this is amazing like you could literally do an MIT blockchain course for for nothing <laughs> um, you won't get the accreditation though sorry um, I thought that was also very useful like those are things that have helped me really understand the space and all that okay well I hope I hope this is helpful um, I hope you guys get started and I hope at some point we'll be discussing uh, different investment opportunities in crypto and yeah all the best of luck <laughs>